Hello, welcome back. This is the Ford Neutral and Reverse Gearbox Part 2 video. I've actually mounted it to the engine, which I'm about to show you. I made this top plate mount myself. It's all pretty simple stuff, really. Selector up there. It's actually got transmission forward, isn't it? So as you wouldn't do a normal tap plate, you catch those two bolts there. Then I've actually, if you come around the side, caught two of the um, crankcase bolts. There's one there. And uh, hold up, just move the engine. And this this side here. So I ended up uh, using the original CVT as a jack shaft. So if you have a look down there. I'm going to use it as a jack shaft. That goes up to the top. Put a uh, chain tensioner in there. Oh, it looks all good. It's a neutral right here. So yeah, it worked out pretty good. I'm happy that I could use the old uh, backing plate for the CVT and turn it into a jack shaft and uh, that's how I mounted the uh, gearbox here if you look from this angle just made a top plate some angle iron there, that's real simple those are the two mounting points the other two in there you see it in there I caught this bolt over here, I'll we'll come back a bit Oh, let me just turn around that little allen head there holds, holds it to the back and then obviously those two there holds it pretty it's, it's real firm and going anywhere it's uh, I believe six mil thick steel flat steel and then this is the one that's hard to show you but that bolt there is one of the crank bolts crankcase and the other one's in behind this this the this the aluminium flap, flap bar I used to mount the tensioner. I'll change the angle a bit. It was real simple, you just made it like a um, like a jigsaw, bolted all in place, tacked it in, tack welded it. it was, the hardest part was getting this true straight and uh, <laughs> yeah, into, into distance the two pulleys together from each other because it's got to be the same distance as the pulley to that shaft there, right? Because otherwise the belt's too loose and it'll just slip. So you have to reference from that pulley to that pulley and I did that by using some flat bar, drilling out holes and bolting them together at the same height and finding where it sits here and um, trying to get it as straight as possible so that those chains, you know, there's not too much twist in the chains. So yeah, it worked out pretty good. I'm happy with it, real happy with it. And it's real strong. I haven't run it yet because uh, I had to remove my gas tank, so now I've got to figure out another way <laughs> to get this whole thing running. But yeah, it's just an update. If you like what you see, give us a like. Questions, all good. But um, yeah, if you can't tell, I watch a lot of Redbeard's garage. Look at that engine. Looks like it was built in his own garage, eh? Splatter paint job. <laughs> I really like your show. But yeah, that's it. Cool, cheers.